Welcome to the channel. It's always good to be here with you. I'm glad you're here with me. All my supporters and all the subscribers, thank you so much for what you do and say in the comments section and the way you fend off these nonsense from some of these trolls and things of that nature. Thank you so much. I really appreciate how you keep it clean and you use information. You give information. And you produce information. Thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We'd love to have you join us. We'd love to have you in the comments section. No cursing. And let's keep it clean. So, did you watch the press conference of the backup quarterback, Ryan Staub and Shane Cooks after the Utah game. Well, I just came across it. I didn't watch it immediately. I just came across it. And guess what? Ryan Staub was asked a very simple question, but he gave a very telling answer. I thought we ought to talk about it. Ryan, how did you feel about uh, the way your offensive line played? Oh, they played amazing. I mean, I, I, I don't feel like I got touched the whole game, so... I mean, obviously we've had some ups and downs throughout the year, and we even had an injury. Our uh, Bam, our center, gets hurt early on, so they played such an amazing game. Again, I, I didn't get hit, I didn't get touched, so it's great time. So a reporter said, were you nervous for your first start? He said, oh, I was nervous as you can be. I had butterflies the whole nine. They said, okay, how do you feel the offensive line did for you? And he said, wonderful, a great job. I don't even feel like I was hit once, knocked down or pressured or anything. I felt great back there. They did an awesome job. So I said, wait a minute, let me look at this. I, I rewound it. I heard it again. And I said, okay, he said that. So then I looked and I said, okay, Shador is the most sacked quarterback in college. Okay, 52 times in 11 games. 52 in 11 games. I did the numbers. That comes out to 4.727 sacks per game. That's almost five sacks a game. And this kid says he wasn't hit, touched, knocked down, harassed, nothing. So then I went back and I looked and I said, well, how many times was Shador hit? And how many times was he knocked down? Like per game, everything. It comes out to a little over 11 and a half times per game in total that Shador was sacked, hit, knocked down on pressure. And the backup quarterback, who is nervous to death with butterflies, goes out and has a performance that makes him look like a credible player. And he says the offensive line did a wonderful, excellent job protecting him. He wasn't hit. He wasn't harassed. He wasn't knocked down. No pressures. He felt great back then. So I'm saying, wait a minute. Aren't these the same players that were blocking for Shador? That were giving up almost 11 sacks, pressures kind of thing, hits per game? But yet, when the backup comes in, they suddenly can fend off the two-time Pac-12 champions in their building where they have real bold implications on per wins, where they go, where they see that kind of thing, and their recruitment. And he wasn't hit once, knocked down or sacked. What? kind of statement was that? So then I'm saying, okay, everybody had all the speculation about everything that was going on. Did they just come to him and tell him, hey, bro, relax. Don't be so nervous. We're going to block for you. We're going to keep you clean. Just display. And then they went out and blocked for him like you don't know what. Had him upright in the pocket looking like a star. You mean to tell me they couldn't do that for Shador? What about the coaches? You don't think the coaches saw this and noticed that? Not one coach has come out and said anything about the offensive line and the performance from the Utah game. So are they complicit in them not blocking for Shador? 
and then blocking for the backup? Or are they just trying to keep it low because they're all on their hot seat and got to get out? And they don't want to spill the beans as to what they knew and what they were a part of. That's a deep statement to me. You tell me what you think. Was it some kind of plot there to get Shador hurt? And then when the backup came in, they did what they did against TCU, against Nebraska, against all the other earlier teams in which they had a shot, which was block. Before the six-game skid. I don't know. You tell me. 